Hello and welcome back. Wow, that last episode was uh, ooh, uh, a a doozy. Um. Sorry. I thought I had to sneeze, but I didn't. Um. But yeah, um, what do you call it? If we manage to get, get to, um, to Shadowbringers, if we finish Stormblood, um, I'm, I might take a little, what in tarnation? There's a lot of people here. Good fucking lord. Oh, there's my F word for the episode, I guess. Well, I used that early. Whatever. But, um... I need to do... I need to finish up the Crystal Tower quests. I need to do that. I, I need to finish up that quest and um, and a few other ones, but namely the Crystal Tower quest line. I know what happens. I know what happens like in that quest line. So I just want to do it for completion purposes and also for one other reason. But I'm not going to tell you what that reason is. Um, as you probably guessed, it's Gabu we've come to see. The private here will bring him out to us. <gasps> Gabu! Ever since the maelstrom took him in, I've tried to visit as often as I can, and after what befell our friends, I was taken un uh, I was taken by the urge to visit again. It's difficult to explain. It's fine. Here he is, my lady. Gabu, it's been too long. I'm afraid there's been no change. If he can see or hear us, he has given no sign. I see. You're still fighting. I'm proud of you. We promised that we would come and visit you together, didn't we? Alphino and I. I'm sorry that we haven't managed that yet. You know, with the three of us like this, does it not remind you of that night? Of the stars beyond count twinkling in the heavens? I was feeling pretty low back then. Powerless. But I knew that my brother was close by if I needed him, and that the others would be waiting for me back at the Rising Stones. Not like now. I've seen my share of trouble since coming to Eorzea. Been reminded again and again of my limitations, of how little I can change about this world. And I've come to know the sorrow of parting all too well. But to have the people I hold dear struck down before my eyes and be powerless to help them, that, that, I cannot bear. My baby. Oh my god. <sighs> she shouldn't have to deal with all this... These emotions so... So much, you know, like... 
I think she's she's very young too. I think she's like 16, 17 ish. But like to to basically grow accustomed to the pains and suffering of like losing somebody. No one should ever feel that emotion at all, and uh, at such a young age too. That's just. You don't have to bear this burden alone. You have friends who, who love and support you. No, I don't. You're right. It's pure arrogance to imagine I can solve everything by myself. You'd think I'd have learned that by now. Thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you. It's what friends are for, Alize. Friends are supposed to be there for each other and support each other at the lowest. I'm gonna make myself cry, by the way. Well, that's more than enough brooding for one day. Come on. We have friends to save. We definitely do, Elise. Let's return to the Rising Stones and take it from there. Alright. Thanks again for agreeing to come. It meant a lot to me. Of course. Where's my hug option? Huh? Wait, wait. Square Enix, where's my hug option? I want to be able to just... You know, like, hug characters. Like, without just, like, you know, awkwardly doing the hug emote. Like, I want to actually hug characters. Like, please. I'm gonna thump and cry, dude. I did some thinking on the way back, and I think Hori is right. We need to seek outside help. Ordinarily, we would turn to our own experts in such matters, but they're both among the stricken. I'll begin by reaching out to the Myrid guilds and research institutions here in Eorzea. Additionally, Grandfather and Minfilia had a wealth of connections between them, and I mean to explore those avenues too. We'll find a way to save everyone. Mark my words. Much and more has happened in recent days. Some of it for the good, some not so. But all around me, people continue their fight. From the shinobi who search for Alphano to the Alliance members who make ready to move against the Empire. They march on in the face of great adversity, bearing heavy burdens. Everyone is playing their part, and so must I. You have your own part to play, I know, and it's much bigger than most. So I won't keep you. Just promise that you'll visit from time to time, and, promise, and I promise I'll have good tidings to share with you when you do. AKA right now, because, uh... Yeet. Okay, cutscene. Meanwhile in the Imperial Palace. Oh boy. The Populares no longer present an obstacle. Now is the time to bring the Empire's might to bear. A word from your radiance is all it takes. But one word, and the Imperial Army will fall upon Alamigo as a pack of bloodthirsty wolves and tear that feeble nation apart. Have 
you know words for me? Despite the lengths I go to, an emissary playing the part of a fool. When first I took this face, I swore to use all of my knowledge, all of my power, to further the cause of the Empire. My deeds stand testament to my commitment. And with this adamant flesh at my disposal, I could destroy the Icon Slayer as easily as one might swat a fly. Why do you hesitate? Our enemy is resourceful. Though victory is certain now, it will not remain so indefinitely. Deliberate if you must, but be quick about it. We will speak again when you have unburdened yourself of doubt. Until then, I take my leave. Father. These stupid arm pads. Like, what the fuck? You don't need that much. I should be the one to sigh. Who the heck? I played my part to perfection. I had earned my rest, and then, thanks to La Habrea's crowning act of idiocy, our favorite emissary sees fit to summon me back. Who the heck? Why are there new people left and right? Please! What? Well, okay, so El Elidibus isn't new, but, like, he's showed up again. But who are you? Wait, actually, well, we did encounter one new person, the disembodied voice. Elidibus was ever a warrior. A most tiresome trait, would you not agree? Who the heck are you? What? Have you no words for me either? No matter. I've long grown weary of this mummery. Now, my dearest grandson, let me remind you of your place in the simplest of terms. What the? F you do not make judgments, you administer them swiftly. And to the letter. Naught else is your concern. Elidibus may be an insufferable bore, but he is no fool. His choices as emissary seldom err. If aught threatens the balance twixt light and dark, it falls to you to remove it. Be it by your own hands or by your armies, you have ample means at your disposal. That is why this empire exists, why I built it. Oh dear, have I touched a nerve? You always were an easy one to read. I pity you, I do. As they say, ignorance is bliss. And I know how much happier you would be not knowing the things you know. The Founding Father was an Assian. And he created the Empire solely for the purpose of sowing the seeds of chaos. What the fuck is happening? 
Don't take it personally. I merely do my duty. To bring about a calamity requires no small amount of power. And there is no surer way to obtain such power than by collecting powerful pawns. To that end, I have labored long and hard, and I must say I am quite pleased with my handiwork, paltry though it seems in comparison to Alec. are over fond of your own voices. He's not going to be dead. Me, Asian. Man is the master of his own destiny. What the? What is happening? I'm... I'm just... He's not going to be dead. Just watch. I already know it. <sighs> yep. Such a waste of time and energy. Both yours and mine. This music that plays when he talks, Jesus. Lest you forget you are Emperor now. If you wish to spout drivel about man's destiny, save it for the masses. It will serve to give them a sense of purpose and you pliant pieces for the game. Oh, do stop sulking, boy. You, of all people, should understand. Ours is a struggle to restore both mankind and the world to their rightful state. Viewed thus, our goals are one and the same. Resistance encampment somewhere in the Empire. Hmm. <gasps> Alvaro, no! Wait, where's Maxima? What in the world? Oh boy. Dead. All dead. Yet I see no wounds nor any evidence of battle. Finally used it. The Empire developed an alchemical weapon in Girabinia. A gas. Black Rose, it was called. And to breathe it is to breathe your last. And that did this? I thought the project abandoned and its vile fruit destroyed. But not else could have wrought such an atrocity. Fools. What do they hope to gain with this butchery? Can they not see that rule one over, sorry, one through terror will not endure? 
How many more provinces must they lose? Nay, wait. This is not the work of men, but monsters. The Ossians. It cannot be a coincidence that their trail led us here. Their objective was never to rule, but to sow strife and discord. Such a crime does indeed bear the mark of, bringer, of the bringers of chaos. Black Rose cannot be allowed to kill again. We must find the Ossians and put an end to their plot. Yo, the story has really picked up. What in the world is happening, dude? Soul searching. Alright. I'm glad you've come. Though I'm afraid there's little in the way of good news. Oh, that's fine. I just wanted to check up, see how you were doing. After you left, we reached out to both the Alchemist's Guild and Stillglade Fane and attempted all manner of treatments. But the results were always the same. Whatever the answer is, it's not alchemy or conjury. Why did it have to be Yishtola and Orianger and not me? Out of all of us, they are the ones who could feasibly have solved this puzzle. And that's a moon. And Elfino's still missing. God, it's all going wrong. Where do we even start? A grave situation indeed. Might I be of some assistance? <gasps> Baby! It's Kryle! Kryle? I thought you were busy delving into the mysteries of Eureka. Oh god, please don't say that name. When word reached me of the plight of our friends, I could not well stay away. As a fellow scion, not to mention your erstwhile mentor, this is one of those times you should feel free to call on me. Regardless of my personal circumstances. I... Yes, I should have thought of that. Thank you for coming, Kryle. We would welcome your insight. And I should be happy to provide it. Now, what's this I hear about Alphano heading into Imperial territory? That boy always did have some funny ideas. Do you remember the speech he gave when he was accepted to the studium? My life's goal is not less than the salvation of this star. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, that particular grand pronouncement has been a source of great embarrassment to him, as you know. But, the fact of the matter is, he meant every word and has lived his life accordingly. Yes, he remains altruistic to a fault. But I'm worried he was too fixated on his goals to see the dangers, as has happened before. You needn't be so concerned. Though his values remain the same, Alphano is not the blinkered boy he once was. Slowly but surely his eyes have been opened. Thanks to a certain someone. No. A certain someone whom he'd be mortified to learn had heard about his little speech. Mum's the word, eh? Right, I'd better have a look at our patients. They're in the infirmary, I assume. I'll need absolute quiet, so it would be best if I did this alone. If you'll excuse me. All three are in fine physical health. At a glance, I would say they were merely sound asleep. 
Except for the fact that I couldn't sense the slightest trace of them in their bodies. It's as if their souls have taken leave of their physical forms. Ah, yes. The Elder Seedseer made a similar observation. I've read the report. When you heard this mysterious voice, you described feeling as if you were somewhere else, yes? Mm -hmm. If we assume the ether which comprises your essence is being drawn to some other place, then it may be possible to follow the trail it leaves behind, just as we did in our search for Thancred. I wasn't around for that, but I can't imagine it was easy. Oh, it wasn't. But that's no reason not to try. I will have need of Master Matoya's crystal eye if I'm even to make the attempt. So, I suggest we pay her a visit. Please teleport me there. Please. Please. I beg of you. No! Please! Please, I beg of you! Teleport me there! Say it ain't so! Well, to Shire we go. Ugh, all that, all my money. An absolute travesty, dude. Dude, I'm I'm both excited yet also terrified of um of what do you call it? of Shadowbringers because I've heard I've heard things. I've heard I mean, I've heard that the story and everything is super great. It's amazing and whatnot, but at the same time, I've also had people tell me that they cried nonstop for a whole week after they finished. So as an already like emotional person that will cry at like anything that that's a concern um god i need to do ex trials i need to do raids i need to do a bunch of stuff hey i whoa whoa oh my god Okay, well... Okay, either we're experiencing a DDoS, or I'm just lagging. Jesus Christ. If I look in the general chat, I see like a bunch of people logging out, then I'll know. This is atrocious, I'm so sorry. I'd heard Master Matoya was something of a recluse, but this seems extreme. Still, I'll happily overlook her eccentrics if she agrees to help us. Peace again, have you? 
I hide myself away in a cave, and still you people insist on pestering me with your problems. Oh, I mistook you for young what's-his-name, but I see now you're the sister. Weren't you supposed to be the lively one? I've seen happier faces at a rain-sodden burial. Well, I'm sorry to dash your expectations, but the situation isn't exactly conducive to gaiety. Ha! That's more like it. Stoller used to spit and hiss like a wildcat, too. Better for a young thing like you to be filled with fire and leave the doom and gloom to your elders. There you go. Now, what exactly does this tragic situation of yours have to do with me? If I may, Master Matoya, we have need of your crystal eye once more. And Stola is one of the afflicted? Is she? Very well. She may be an ungrateful stray, but she's my ungrateful stray, and I'll not see her buried before I am. Oh my goodness. Right. Let us see what we can see. I'll begin from where our friends first fell, and cast my senses out from there. What is it? Did you find them? This, this, this doesn't make sense. But how is it even possible? Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. What happened? How is what possible? Kryle, what did you see? The, th the threads, they just... They just ended. And, and no, I didn't lose track of them. I followed them as far as they went. It's as if... It's as if they were cut off. What? Could the ether have dissipated if it had? Oh, oh God! Jose, calm down. Their bodies are just husks. It's like the broodmother's daughter all over again. No, no, th this is different. The Kalyana girl was already dead, body and soul, when Lakshmi affected her resurrection. Aye, let's not jump to conclusions. If their physical forms yet breathe, and show no signs of wasting, then it follows that their souls must still be intact somewhere. Yeah, the question is where exactly are they? But where? That's the question, isn't it, girl? Death has not taken them to the ethereal sea, yet there are no tracks left for us to follow. We're no closer to an answer than when we started. But knowing their souls are still out there is progress of a sort. We just have to keep looking. Yeah. Pray, excuse me a moment. Yes? I remember, but... What, to Alamigo? We're on our way. What happened? That was Lise. Apparently, a group of Popularis have defected to Alamigo, and Maxima, the envoy Alphano left with, is one of them. <gasps> I'm sorry. 
I realize we've barely begun here, but... Go, child, go! You've made up your mind, and life's too short for dithering. I'll do some digging in the meantime and see if there isn't some other method we could use to continue the search. Let's be off then. My boy. Hmm? Oh, not again. The enchantment barely seems to take these days. I chalk it up to old age, but I rather doubt it's that simple. Before they took ill, Yishtola and Urianger were sharing notes on a thinning of the ether. It seems to be happening all over. Does it now? And here I was, all set to blame my woes on that creaking mountain of refuse clogging up the Thaliac. I fear something has gone wrong. Still, there's naught to be gained from starting at shadows. You can only do what can be done, and that but one thing at a time. I don't like this. Oh, I'm sorry, my headset. I'm so sorry. I took off my headset. Give me a second. Um, does anyone else have that problem? Where, um... Where... You wear your headset for a for a while, and then it starts to hurt. Yeah, I think that's just me, because I wear glasses. <laughs> or at least, is this a glasses thing? When you wear headsets, that your head just hurts after a while? Because, uh, big mood. Sorry, I hit my mic on my leg. Whoops. So, that was the woman who tamed your stola. I had the distinct feeling of being grabbed by the scruff of the neck and having the nonsense shaken out of me. When Alphano is back, I'd like to visit again and ask her what tale she has of grandfather. Alright, we're gonna end the episode here, and in the next episode, we're gonna go see our boy, see Alphano, and see how he's doing. But I have a bad feeling that... that he's one of the affected. I have a feeling, and I hate it. I Please don't let me be right. And please let him be safe, my boy. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, be safe.